In order to study the heating and compression of fusion targets in the quest to harness the energy processes that power the stars, researchers at Sandia National Laboratories have developed the Ultrafast X-ray Imager. This solid-state, multi-frame digital camera captures an image or a sequence of images at exposure times as short as two billionths of a second. We've been um, working on building a movie camera that can take um, images on time scales of a billionth of a second. And our goal is to be able to um, image our very um, fast experiments that we do with high power lasers and high power electrical devices. One of the things that's unique about this camera, and here's a, what, it, the, what the actual sensor looks like, is that we use an architecture where we stack up different um, two layers of silicon devices. One layer is a, um, an array of a half a million um, photodiodes and the other is a very large scale integrated circuit and we combine these and connect every um, photodiode um, with every pixel on the integrated circuit and that enables us to achieve very high speeds um, in, uh, in this movie camera. John Porter started talking to us about developing a custom camera and uh, we settled on a hybrid CMOS architecture. And hybrid CMOS being we have a ROIC or in a, a readout integrated circuit that contains all of the high-speed digital timing electronics, the pixel array and associated storage elements, and readout circuitry all required to take a picture. Each pixel, okay, on this readout integrated circuit, and if you were to zoom in here, this, this readout uh, integrated circuit has a 256 by 256 uh, pixels. Each pixel has a corresponding photodiode that when it gets bonded together, okay, there is a one micron bond that is made from an oxide to oxide bond from the wafers being put together. So the photodiode and the ROIC are separated by only one micron of interconnect. The other aspect is because it is hybrid, we can, we can tailor the sensor um, to whatever the environment is. So for example, some of the higher energy X-ray environments you might see at Z or um, at some of the other high energy density or inertial confinement fusion facilities, uh, they need tens of kilovolts of X-ray energy resolution. Um, and we can change our sensor to a, a compound semiconductor to provide stopping power and um, the ability to look at those kinds of signals. The ultra-fast X-ray imager, or UXI, is currently being used in fusion research experiments at the National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and on the Z-Machine at Sandia. Understanding these complex plasma dynamics requires a camera capable of ultra-high shutter speeds and frame rates and synchronization capabilities down to tenths of nanoseconds. Just verifying that we have uh that we have the, the test beam aligned into the sensor, right on where they're supposed to be. The timing looks good. I think we're good to go for a test. The experiments we do are extremely violent in using our high power lasers and pulse, um, pulsed electrical devices. They're so violent that they kind of destroy um, material of this scale, kind of foot scale, um, and it takes us a day or two to put the experiments back together. What we're doing here is a laboratory astrophysics experiment and the idea of it essentially is to look at the stability of radiative shocks and magnetic fields. And we basically put the thing inside this magnetized target scale. The experiment um, has a spatial scale of about a centimeter and a uh, time scale of on the order of a couple hundred nanoseconds. Typically using more conventional techniques, we can only get one blast wave image um, per drive laser shot. That takes a really long time to collect the data, and since we're uh, specifically looking at an instability, it can be hard to reproduce from shot to shot. This way we have multiple images showing the, the time evolution from a single event, which is enormously valuable to us. So one of the things I think is just way cool about taking pictures at these speeds is that we have to actually wait to turn our shutter on until after the event we're trying to look at is over. And so it goes back to the idea that light travels about a foot in a billionth of a second. And generally our cameras are a few feet away from the, in, from the experiments we're imaging. The UXI is a reliable, low-cost, easy-to-use digital camera that is 50 times faster than any existing digital camera. 
What is important is that, so there are inertial confinement fusion and HED science type applications, but I think there are probably commercial applications that might make sense for, so like fluorescence imaging for biological components. Um, uh, we've talked about doing things called ballistic photon imaging, so you can image around corners using photons that travel through materials and reflect back around corners. So one really important aspect of this technology is that it is not just the world's fastest digital x-ray framing camera, but it's also very compact and very easy to use. That opens up a whole new area of application where you can put many of these things on a single experiment at the same time to look at many aspects of what's happening in these um, high temperature, high density systems and even be able to do things like multi-dimensional tomography to look at the three-dimensional structure in time. It's always been hard to do, if not impossible, with the old technologies that we've been using. The simplicity, the compactness, and the capability of this system could enable that type of um, high-resolution imaging.